Hello everyone, welcome to Data Trick. In this video, we will learn how to create interactive dashboards that are derived from Databricks notebooks using dbutil widgets. So our end goal here is to create a dashboard that will look something like this. As we can see, we have four text fields here and one drop down. So let's explore how this works before we start implementing this. So here we have four text fields in which we can put in our aspirations, name, role, and our social media profile. And uh, in the drop down, we have print aspiration and print details. So if we select print aspiration and click on update, the dashboard will print the aspirations of the given uh, user. So it says my aspirations are so and so and if you like to connect with me, you can follow me on my LinkedIn or DM me. And if I am to print the details and click on update, it will keep the, the details uh, with respect to the uh, entries that we did. It says my name is so and so, my aspirations and I love to do, I love to become something like platform engineering or something. This is just a uh, string concatenation that I did for the demonstration purposes here the uh, functionality can be extended and the possibilities are lim unlimited all right uh, with that in mind let's start coding then let's see how we can bring this to life and uh, how we can play around with it and make it more interactive and interesting so first thing we need would be to put in the text fields that we need so let me call the button start widget start text it's that simple to call to get a text field so this widget will accept first would be the name of the text field and the second would be the default value and the third parameter would be the label of this text field which would be presented at the top of the label now field so yeah we can see the field has come up and I can put in the information in the field so let's do the same for the rest of the four fields we need one for roles and we need one for aspirations and we need one for the LinkedIn profile or social media profile let's call this a LinkedIn if I call this I should be able to see four fields yep so with every call, uh, the state will not change. So let's use one more function of dbutils so that we can remove all the widgets before the next call. So we have a function called remove all. If I have to run only this for demonstration, it will remove all the widgets. Right? So yeah. So every time when we call this, we need the remove all to be performed first so that all the state and information about that is removed and our uh, specified fields come into the play uh, why don't we just wrap this into a function for reusability right let's call this uh, initialize this dashboard yeah that sounds a uh, fair name okay let's bring this into the scope yep yeah. All right, let's see if we can in call this function just to make sure that it works. I just remove the widgets first. Pan form. Just happen. Yeah, first are gone. Now let's initialize this. Okay, our wrapper function is working. Cool. So now uh, let's work on the drop down then. So, as we saw, we had two options in our drop down one is to print aspiration, and one is to print details. So, let's first put in the function print details. To have print details. So, this will uh, print the details of the of fields 
So let's call in a function from db utils. db utils widgets dot get is the function that will help us to bring the information from that field using the field name. So as we saw, this field name is the name of this text field. So we can use that to reference that field and pull in the state or information from that field. We can use the same for role and aspirations. Let's start it. Which hits five. Aspirations. We have that now. Let's wrap everything into a variable then. So, my role fails. So and so, and my aspirations are. And I love to become. one day. Let's format this. Let's pass name and explanation and proof. Right, and let's write down this response. And let's try to call this function to see if it works and if it gives us the information. All right, we didn't assign it to any variable. Okay, that's all now. My name is this, and uh, yep, yeah, since we didn't pass anything, let's fill in the information. Okay, let's call the function one more time. Now we can see the information is coming in. For the sake of simplicity and uh, on. to wrap it into a data frame in the end, let's put it, this into a dictionary and wrap this onto a list. All right. Yep, yeah, we have a list of string that says this information is correct and it is printing as we want it to. Let's have one more function called print aspirations. So this will take the aspirations and the LinkedIn profile or whatever social media profile we are passing here. The far end. Let's just keep this much for simplicity now. My aspirations are and you can connect to it to me calm. Think thing app. Pass in aspirations and profile. Okay, let's see if this works. Okay, so now it should work. Yep, this is working and this is my social media profile. If any of you want to connect with me, please do. So now with our function, right? Why don't we wrap it into a class for reusability and uh, yep, betterment. Let's call it Databix demo. And pull in these things into a scope. Okay, with that in place, let's initialize the class. Not doing a weeks demo. Oh, I didn't run this set. My bad, sorry. Yeah, we have the class now. If we call 
any function should give us the information. All right, let's pass in this cell argument here for the class instantiation. This should work, yes. This looks fine. So now our next step is to pass these functions into the drop down. So let's use Python's inspect library. And let's get all the methods that are, are residing inside this class. So let's call this a function inspect get members of this class. So H is our class. So the predicate would be inspect dot is method. So get all the methods from this class. So let's loop over this function to get all the functions in a string. So or x in function. So let's print this function to see if all the functions are coming out. Yes, we have print aspiration and print details here that are part of this class and we are uh, pulling them using this uh, inspect his method of uh, parameter. So now let's append this using nothing. If we do that, we should be able to make it predefined and put everything into a list, right? So that we can parse over it and pass it to our drop down widget. So drop down widget usually usually takes a list of elements. So if you go to db widgets and if you search for drop down so this is how it will accept the parameters this is the name this is the default value and this is the list of elements that will be shown when you click on the drop down so this is what we are passing so we are converting this uh, uh, return value into a list so we will pass that to our drop down widget we are to talk so let's call this do what and let's not pass any value default value to this and let's pass in the list that we created in the above step where we appended all the uh, values from the loop and put them into a list so let's put in it. let's see if we get the drop down yes we have it here if we see we get two options right these are the values from that drop down and this is the empty field that we got from the list so now with that in place we need to export the result like how will we print it out without getting it out right so we can use python's get attribute method and we can pass the class and we can use dbutils one more function that is get argument of do what so what this will do is this will uh, get the information that this function will do and it will pass it to the result variable so if i call this all right i didn't pass up anything right so for that to run we need to select something yeah so now print aspiration uh, return type is being saved in the result so if i have to just print the result So this is a method that's called parenthesis yeah we have this uh, output here so why don't we just put it and convert it into a data frame let's use string type because this is a list of string and let's create our data frame create data frame we will pass our result that we need to convert into a data frame and the type would be string type all right 
yes we have our data frame here let's display this and see if our data frame is showing us intended yeah we have a data frame that gives us the output like uh, how we need it so now the important and uh, main part that we did all this to accomplish is how to convert this into a dashboard right if we go into file and click on new dashboard this should be immediately converted into a dashboard and we can pass it any name we can call it test yes skip dashboard and we can simply select the width and everything and we can just click on present dashboard so here we have the dashboard okay let's try if everything works let's print details of this dashboard yes we have the details here and let's go back to aspirations aspirations are coming in awesome let's see my name is Deadpool this is interesting right won't stop in oh state is same yeah my name is Deadpool and my aspirations are data ops and ML ops I would uh, highly doubt if Deadpool want to do that but let's run this again yeah my aspirations everything is coming as intended right all right so i think uh, we are able to get this uh, completed within the time span that i plan to do it so i hope this was useful and thanks for sticking around for so long i can't wait to connect with you in the comments if you have any queries or if you need any specific topics to be demonstrated i'd be more than happy to do that Feel free to drop your comments in the comment section and uh, if you like then please do subscribe and support. Thank you.